Hello everybody, today, since I got some likes on uh, the write process memory and reprocess memory tutorial, I'm going to be making a tutorial for a trigger bot. So yeah, for CSGO this time. The BHOP also works in CSS, the one that I made for the write and read process memory. But what we're going to be doing is, you know, just making a trigger bot tutorial. And this trigger bot is not going to be online, but if this video gets 5 likes, I'll make a video on how to make an online trigger bot. And then I'll try to make a video on how to make an internal cheat. So, the first thing to making a trigger bot is getting some addresses. So, the first one you're going to need is your crosser ID, which isn't going to be hard to get at all. So, I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to kick some of these bots. Alright, so we have this bot, so the first thing you want to do is uh, attach CSGO to cheat engine. Type in zero. Well, first actually you want to do is look at either a wall or a ground. Just something not, that isn't an entity. I'll just do the ground. And I'll hit... I'm just making sure everything's going right good. Hit for scan. Once you type in zero. Alright. And now what you want to do is look at the enemy, and then go to value between, just do 1 and 35, so that's what I just do. Next scan. And then you can just hit that a couple more times. Now look at a wall, like right here. Exact value, 0. Value between 1 and 35. Exact, exact value of 0. Here I'm going to do it like right here. I'll do it on this side. I'll do it up right there. I'll look over there. Look over there. So basically these values right here. Um, as you can see, if I were to look at the enemy, see I'm not looking at him fully, and then if I get on him, this changed. And it looks like this value right here is only changing when this red text pops up. So I think, and this one right here isn't changing at all. So I think we have the right value right here. And what I'm going to do, just to make sure, is spawn some more bots. So as you can see, when I look at this player, I get the value of 2. And this, this is also just going to be a really simple trigger bot, like... It will be able to shoot at teammates. Now, if I look at this player, I get a value of 3 and a 4. So, what these values are right here are actually the player's ID. And we're going to be using that for the trigger bot. So, we're just going to keep this value right here. And next, what we need to do is get the um, local player base. Actually, we don't need to do that right now since this isn't going to be online. I'll tell you how to do that for the online one though. So basically all we really need right now is the ID. And we're going to start coding for the offline cheat. So hashtag include IO, actually no, windows.h. Hashtag include IO stream. And then int main. Let's see, we're also going to do D word since this is just uh, offline. D word PID. Which is just process ID. And D word cross oops. Crosshair. Jesus. Crosshair ID. Equals. We're gonna go over here. Copy this. Well actually we have to do zero X, which means hex. And paste that. Now what we need to do is we have to read memory. We're not gonna be writing memory at all. So we're gonna be read process memory. Um, actually, wait, no, we're not doing that yet. I forgot. Right here, we're gonna do at the top handle. Wait, wait, no, no. H W and D. And since this is CSGO, you can type anything right here for this right here. You can, well, I'm just gonna do CSGO. Equals find window A. Um, <coughs> find window A zero parentheses, the name, this should all, all be stuff that you already know, 
Did you watch my read and write process memory? So I don't think I should explain any of this as long as you've seen that. So what I need to do next is for it here, you do CSGO PD, and that's giving yourself access to edit it. And now we can start reading memory. So um, to make it cleaner, read, process, memory. Now just so you know, this thing right here, this whole code will not work for uh, online if i get five likes i'll do an online video repress memory let's go um <coughs> actually wait, wait, wait. right here we also want to make an int called id which stores the crosser ID right here. It stores its value into this integer. So crosser ID ID size of int. And now what we need to do is um, right here we have to do while one actually I'm just gonna do a for loop it looks nicer but I normally use while but this just looks nice for a tutorial <sighs> wow for loop um if get actually wait if yeah get async key state vk underscore alt which I like to use to actually return. Actually, wait, no, it's not return. It's menu. That's all. And ID is greater than zero. What we're gonna do right here is make it so it will click our mouse. So uh, take this and also put it in your for loop. Forgot to mention that. All right, I'm back and I have the code right here it's called sending input and what this does is um well first i'll tell you how to use it so what you got to do is you have to go to your csgo you have to go in the console and type bind p plus attack and then what that will do is every time you press p it will attack and here what you need to do then is um i will well, just like copy down this code, just write it down. And what this is going to do, it will press P. And we're, right here, we're going to do sending input. So every time we are holding down Alt and we are looking at a player or any entity, it will shoot. Now, I'll tell you how to make it so it doesn't shoot at guns, because right now it's going to shoot at guns. So we're going to run it. Okay, it's running. I'm holding down Alt. Okay, wait. For some reason it's not working. Let me see. Maybe we got the wrong address. Ah, all right. I fixed it. I fixed it. So for some reason it didn't work unless I put the get window thread process ID above the handle. So we can rename this actually back to main game since that wasn't a problem. Um, so yeah. And now this should work. So let's see. Let me make sure. As you can see, it's zero. Well, I hold. I was holding down alt. Right. Four. And then I'm holding down alt right now. Here, let me go into the game. Actually, let me. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of this right here because it might be slowing down my computer a little bit. And then I'm gonna go into the game. I'm running it, or I'm about to run it. Okay. I compiled it. It's running. And now, I'm not holding down alt. 
And I'm holding down alt. As you can see, it's pretty good. There's a dig. This is about as perfect as it's gonna be get. But also, um, if I go back, go to my task manager, go to scroll. My CPU is like really high up right now. To fix that, so you don't lag, what you need to do is, um, you have to add a sleep right before your sleep, or er, for loop ends. So you would just want to add a sleep one. Because without doing that, if I go back to my task manager, as you can see, oh wait, it's gonna go down. I think it's, oh wait, I never turned it off. As you can see, it's going way down. Now, if I were to run it with with the sleep, it went from 50% to like 16 to 30. So, um, it still works. It works fine. Oh yeah, it works with Ox. See, I got really close. It won't always 100% uh, hit. A trigger bot never really does. Because if you're like flicking too fast, which most of the time you won't. So if you were just be holding down Alt and you went... Like... But yeah, as you can see, it works pretty well. This is really helpful, actually, because if I were to make it so they move, actually, let's not do that. So then they don't move too much. See that? Yeah, I'm gonna get right here. As you can see, it's definitely working. So yeah, thanks for watching.